Hi, I'm John Meehan, president and owner of Lake Erie Rubber. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the properties of ethylene propylene DN monomer, better known as EPDM. I'll talk about the advantages of using this material and some disadvantages to using this material. And then at the end of the video, I'll show a few examples of products that are made right here at Lake Erie Rubber from EPDM. EPDM is a, is a very versatile, all-purpose synthetic rubber. It was developed in the 1960s, so it's a little bit newer of a design than some of the other polymers that we use. It processes very well for injection, compression, or transfer molding, and it has generally a good appearance. It doesn't usually bloom over time, and bloom is referring to rubbers that turn kind of white or gray as they age or are exposed to the elements. It's often the first rubber that we'll recommend for any sort of outdoor application, and that's because it has great resistance to uh, UV rays, ozone, and general weathering. The most well-known advantages of EPDM are the ones that we just hit on, and that's the, the UV, the ozone, and general weathering resistance that it has because of its saturated backbone, which is different uh, from some polymers like natural rubber or neoprene. One other uh, aspect that's really great about EPDM because of that saturated backbone is it has really good flexibility at a wide temperature operating range. So exposing EPDM to cycling temperatures up and down won't cause it to degrade the way that many other polymers will. And it maintains a lot of flexibility, even at low temperatures and high temperatures. Um, the other thing that EPDM is pretty well known for is it's considered to be one of the most water resistant rubbers that is available. There are disadvantages to using EPDM. Uh, the first being it should not be used in applications that are going to be constantly exposed to mineral oils or petroleum oils. It does not have good resistance to these and it will get broken down over time if it is exposed. Secondly, EPDM does not have good flame resistance, so we always want to take that into consideration. And then lastly, it's difficult to create a really strong rubber to metal bond with an EPDM rubber. Now we'll go over a few applications that are made right here at Lake Erie Rubber from EPDM. The first one that we'll talk about is a spring cup. And so this part is a rubber over molded on a metal plate that's inside of the bottom of this part. And what this part does is it, it sits with a spring inside and this helps dampen vibration on industrial equipment like compressors, or HVAC units or anything else that might vibrate and cause uh, noise and vibration in a building application. The second one we'll talk about, this was developed in tandem with another local company here and this is a rubber javelin nose and a lot of high schools have created policies where you're required to use a rubber tip versus a machine metal tip on a javelin. And in this case, like we mentioned multiple times, it's an outdoor use product. And so EPDM was selected because over time, the weathering will not degrade this product and it will last for a long time. The third application, and this is a pretty large part, this is a flexible connector that is used in locomotives. And this one goes through multiple uh, scenarios where you need that EPDM flexibility in high and low temperatures. You need the resistance to ozone and you need the resistance to weathering. And it has to last for many years in this outdoor extreme application and maintain its flexibility. So again, EPDM was a good choice for that uh, particular application. If you have any questions or you just need more help, please go to lakeerierubber.com and use one of the many ways to get in touch with us.